So on to my next project of the day. You can see this is the, the back area of the boat where my back seat goes and this is like the little kick panel right here. Um, right here is where a courtesy light goes. And my courtesy lights I have painted are over there. They came white and I wanted them black because I thought the white looked kind of crappy. And they're LED so they look neater. Also up front you can see what they had before which is this little you know basic type of uh, courtesy light so what I'm gonna do is I need to make oh that was my head on the garage door I need to make these bigger so I have my trusty hole saw set right here and I'm going to attempt to make that hole bigger with a hole saw that's meant for something that doesn't have a hole in it already so I'm going to try to get that to cut without tearing things up. So I'll come up with something. But that's my uh, next project, get this electrics completed with the courtesy lights right there. Well, I can't believe that went as easy as it did. I got the two of the little holes things cut out. That was really simple. I just got the speed of the drill up real high and started like on one edge just barely touching just to kind of get it started and then push it in that way it doesn't wobble all over the place that turned out pretty nice i'm impressed well as you can see i got the little courtesy light in right there and up in front however i'm just not sure i'm digging the white light versus the blue leds i'm kind of thinking i want to go try to find some nice blue LEDs to work on that, but not quite sure. I really don't know. I guess I could put them on different switches, but I'm out of switches in the in the panel, so I don't know. I need to think on it a little while. I got all the electrics finished. Everything is complete. Everything works. The radio now works whenever you flip the switch. It comes on and it has a constant to the battery so it no longer loses memory like we constantly had out on the lake last year. You turn off the ignition and it would uh, lose its memory. And uh, I put, got kind of the itch to put some of the stuff back together. I figured I am done with all the wiring and everything so I started putting the interior parts back in. So I basically, as I was putting them in, I completely cleaned them and uh, bolted them back into place. It still has my speakers and all that kind of good stuff. And then I need to make a panel that goes right here. It used to look like this one over here, which is this cheap baby blue, baby blue plastic, which uh, I'm gonna basically, this one's gonna go away too. And I'm gonna make just some quarter inch uh, plywood wrapped in either some black vinyl or black uh, carpet. I'm not having quite decided yet. Uh, to basically make a, a panel so that way I'll have my cigarette lighter for pumping up our inner tubes and the um, the circuit breaker for the uh, ignition so had everything there now when I got everything in guess what I didn't go up high enough with my dura back on the bottom side man I was pissed off when I saw that I have spent so much time doing this I thought I'd gone up I thought those went the, the vinyl went down all the way to the floor, but obviously it didn't check. So I'm going to have to call Durback on uh, Monday and uh, see if I can just get a quart of it uh, to be able to just do a touch-up on the bottom. And it's on both sides too. You know, definitely a bonehead moment. But anyway, what's done is done. I can get that fixed. That's not a big deal. But uh, also put in the front, uh, all the cushions, cleaned them as much as I could. My wife has been telling me she's going to get out here with a scrub brush and goo gone to get rid of this stuff that we kind of got on the seats last year during the summer. So uh, she'll get out here. That'll be her job after all this I've, I've done. A uh, hour meter. I've also ordered a new blower. Um, new bilge pump. No, I haven't got a new bilge pump yet. I'm trying to decide whether or not to go with like a 500 or an 1100 gallon per hour. But that also means I'll need to change the through hole fitting if I go bigger. Um, I've also got a new battery tray, I've got everything. Uh, but it's uh, it's on its way. But uh, 
I think everything's good. Now let me show you something about this Duraback. This is pretty cool. I was wearing some shoes the other day that had really old black rubber on them. And every time I turned around, it was leaving rubber marks. So I was really scared. I was like, oh my gosh, what is this doing? Well, good news is you take a little bit of cleaner or water. You just spray it on the spot and either wash it or wipe it away and it cleans right off. No problems whatsoever. But I can see this kind of becoming an issue as you got to kind of keep it clean every time. But here's another reason why you should ditch the carpet. This durabac has been down for uh, about a uh, week and a half, maybe a little longer, about, about two weeks. And I just swept the deck all the way up front, all the way to the back. And that's what I came up with. Now, I haven't been doing any sanding. This is just me getting in and out of the boat and uh, tracking stuff around. So imagine that stuff is in your carpet. That's just gross. Well, I have bare spots no more. And I got the underside of the uh, dash painted. A quick trip and with a paint chip to uh, Lowe's, I got them to mix up some exterior enamel, um, which is, you know, real, a lot harder than the, the water-based latex. So I figured for the touch-up and the spot that's up underneath the, the dash, it doesn't matter. I don't need to order a whole other thing of Duraback to, to make it work. Thanks to my lovely wife for suggesting that and uh, keep me from overbuilding <laughs> as much as I tend to do. But I uh, also got me a heat gun and spent the past three hours getting the blue pinstripe off that was right there all the way down. And it went down and over. Uh, it was all dry and cracked and nasty and all that stuff. Also had a little pinstripe. If you look real closely, you can see the dirt mark right there left over from it all the way down the side. I'm getting all that off so that way I can completely clean this hole really, really good and get it red for, ready for the polyglow. I don't really need polyglow. I mean, it's still got a decent shine to it, but it's not like it used to be. And if you get back into some of the areas... Like in here, you can see some real bad oxidation. And what I did here, you can see, I actually sanded down. This is really, really rough. I sanded this down with, I want to say 500 grit. I got pretty aggressive with it to get, this has kind of got a greenish color to it. And this is that beautiful royal blue. And it, there's no glitter or anything coming off. So I haven't got into that yet. So I got a little bit to go. And then I had a brilliant idea how to uh, restore these. I was driving down the road the other day and saw a glass tron just abandoned in a, in a field and it had two of these beautiful emblems and it just was, took all of me not to just walk over and drill out the rivets and take them. But I guess the honest guy in me said, nope. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually spray this with um, gloss black uh, enamel. And then my wife with her steady hand is going to paint all of the these with an aluminum color from testers that we that my son uses for his model cars and then I'm going to just spray it with some clear over it so that'll restore those nice and neat and then I've ordered off of eBay some new chrome louvers that go here along with the um, the vent uh, bilge vent uh, hose and all that kind of good stuff but um, I guess tomorrow I'll roll the boat out and do the other side that I can't get to right now. It's just too darn cold to raise a garage and do all that. So I'll do it tomorrow. And then after that, she goes back on the trailer. I mean, it's it's done. Other I, Once I do the polyglow next weekend, I'm good to go. And then uh, do the engine in about uh, a month, and uh, we'll be ready to go for uh, spring, hopefully. And this has been a heck of a project, but uh, I'm going to... I'm real happy with how it turned out. I still got to mount the seats, but that can be a 11th hour thing. But uh, I tell you, pulling off pinstriping, I got this little Wagner uh, heat gun. This was $19 at Lowe's. Uh, I used to have one years and years ago, but I burned it out. This thing made getting that pinstriping off so much easier. Here's the pinstriping, but it is super, super brittle. See how it just easily, it was one hand pulls apart without any real pulling. But once you warm it up with that, that, that heat gun, I was able to get long stripes of it off at a time, which made it super easy to get this done. So 